image is conjured up when you hear the word crown. Ugly, witchy, hag, bitter old evil woman. The crone is to be feared, and she should hide herself in the shadows. Really, people? Really? Okay. It's time for us to have a conversation about what the word crone really means and why we need to embrace this aspect, this chapter three of our lives. Okay, so there are three archetypes to the feminine aspect. There's the maiden, the mother, and the crone. The maiden, she's vibrant, she's sexy, She's fertile. She's looking for a man. Then there's the mother. The mother is the nurturing, the caregiving aspect of ourselves that I really believe we can't avoid. Whether we, whether we nurture a child or a parent or a dog or a business, it's part of our creative genius. It's part of our genetics in that we have this capacity to birth things. Then there's the crone. Chapter three, the old woman, the wise woman. And you know what? For centuries, centuries now, the crone has been getting a bad rap. When you hear the word crone, what do you think of? You think of this ugly hag, wicked witch, like maybe the one from Snow White. We think outcast. We think somebody who should be feared, somebody who should hide in the shadows, somebody that needs to be forgotten. The reality is that the word crone is derived from the word crown, meaning that the wise old woman, the wisdom that she had was like a crown on her head. The word hag, comes from the word hagia, meaning holy, and which is derived from the word wisdom, your wits about you. So the word crone has been twisted out of shape. In the Middle Ages, the church feared these wise women because they were coming out of pagan religions, and so they were to be feared, they were to be put to death, instead of celebrating the ancient wisdom that these women brought to their communities, the church feared them their power over their communities and so they were the first ones to be burned at the stake in the Inquisition. In the process these wise old women became the archetypal wicked witch and the hag of our fairy tales. But you know what? It's time to change all that. It's time to put our crowns back on our heads and to claim the wisdom and the status we have in our communities and in our families. As elder women, we come with so much experience, valuable, valuable advice and experience. We are the, we are the midwives. We are the grandmothers. We are the soft, gentle bosom to snuggle in and to love our grandbabies. The crone has two aspects, however. She has that soft, gentle side, that soft, gentle bosom of the grandmother, that nurturing, loving soul. But don't mess with the crow, because she is tired of children going hungry. She is tired of war. She's sick of seeing the earth violated. She's angry. She knows there is no reason why any child should go hungry. She knows that war is about men's egos. She is sick to death of any child having to live in fear. She's not going to stand for it anymore, not the wise crone. And that's the aspect we need to embrace. It's that Kali goddess inside of us who says no more, no more. I'm reclaiming my crown. I'm reclaiming the wisdom of my years, the wisdom of my face, of my wrinkles, of all of the experiences I've ever had. And I am proud to be a crone. I'm proud to wear my crone, my crown. 
I'm going to embrace this last chapter of my life. And I'm going to own every wrinkle and every sag. So I'm ready to redefine this word. And I hope there are more of you out there that are gonna wear your wisdom crowns and join me on this journey. My goddesses, wear your crowns, sparkle. <laughs>